Hello. So I know you guys have been thinking a lot about the I Love America diet and how you might incorporate it into your life so that you can be both skinnier and more patriotic. My pal, Brock, is here. Wearing, <laughs> wearing a beautiful, roughly apron that my mom made me as a only sort of joke um, to help me introduce you to one of the first recipes and your leg is fuzzy and I'm <laughs> creeped out that I'm touching you. And um, we just want to introduce you to some of the concepts of the I Heart America diet. The reason that it's the I Love America diet is because it adheres to some national standards. The keystone is like this. The keystone in like an arch of the I Love America diet is the Federal Dietary Guidelines for Americans. One, maintain ideal weight. Two, eat a variety of food. Three, avoid too much fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol. Four. Eat foods with adequate starch and fiber. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Five. Avoid too much sugar. Six. Avoid too much sodium. Mm -hmm. Seven. <laughs> If you drink alcohol, like a crazy person, do so <laughs> in moderation. Kraken is gone. Just wanted to document that, that's all. Let's go into more detail on number seven, because that is probably going to apply to us a lot. If you drink alcohol, and who does that, right? Like only crazy people. <laughs> Drunks. And people who hate America. Criminals. Yeah. Anti-Americans. Do so in moderation. Alcoholic beverages tend to be high in calories. So watch out, bitches. And low in other nutrients. So if you thought that you were going to go to the bar and get, like, all your nutrients for the day, then you were wrong. Slash stupid. <clears throat> Even moderate drinkers, moderate ones, may need to drink less if they wish to achieve an ideal weight. Can you read the next part yet? Oh, okay. On the other hand, heavy drinkers may lose their appetite for foods containing essential nutrients. They might. You don't even know. Vitamin and mineral deficiencies occur commonly in heavy drinkers. Drunks. Oh, in part, <laughs> <laughs> because of poor intake, but also because alcohol alters the absorption and use of some essential nutrients. You don't even know. Heavy drinking may also <laughs> cause a variety of serious conditions such as cirrhosis of the liver and some neurological disorders. Cancer of the throat and neck is much more common in people who drink and smoke than in people who don't. Let's go back. Much, 
Much more common people who drink and smoke than the people who don't. All right, so these got to be the both. <clears throat> Friend. One or two drinks daily appear to cause no harm in adults. But who drinks only one or two? <laughs> <laughs> Selections from a fifth food group, fats, sweets, and alcohol, may be made cautiously. Remember, these foods provide calories with few nutrients. If you drink, you should do so in moderation. Moderate that shit, bro. Oh my god, this planet is sure. turning. 